Hey there everyone, welcome to the crash course on Prisma. Uh, in this crash course, we will be exploring Prisma so that you can use it in your next upcoming project. So in this course, we will be like starting right from absolute basics. We will explore what are models, what are migrations, how to manage relations between several models, how to query the database. So we will like start from absolute basics and then go deep into the Prisma. And once we finish all these basic concepts, we will implement these concepts in a full fledged project. So, and also like I'll be keeping all these videos as raw. I will not be editing any of the videos. So if I encounter any error or bugs, I'll be solving right in front of you uh, so that you can understand what's the process of solving these bugs. How will I like uh, refer stack workflow or might uh, Google some sort, some of these bugs and maybe use chat GPT in today's era. So we will see. And uh, regarding the tools and technologies that I'll be using, so Node.js obviously because it's a Node.js ORM. And apart from that, to test our APIs, I'll be using Postman and VS Code as a text editor. And for the database, I'll go with the MySQL because in my opinion, if you want to learn the relations well, you need to go with some sort of a relational database. So that's why like i'm picking up mysql you can go with either postgres or some other relational databases so uh, let's let's start with the basic setup let's install express and node.js in a uh, empty folder so i have this folder here in the vs code which is prisma demo so uh, let's first initialize this so with npm in it you can initialize your project and i will pass the flag as why to like uh, accept all the defaults so it will create a package dot json file i'll make a simple change here and i will use modules so that we can use modern es6 uh, javascript syntax now in this folder like in this project which i am creating just now we will just explore prisma we will learn all these concepts so nothing uh, big which we want to do here so in the later in the course when we will implement it in a big project or like a full-fledged application we will be creating everything from scratch again there so now we will create a simple index file here index.js now let's install a few dependencies. So we will be installing Express for routing. We will be installing Nodemon. But I believe like in the latest version of Node.js, they support like if some file is changed, they automatically uh, reload the server. So I don't think so we will be needing Nodemon in the future, but I haven't explored that. So maybe as of now, we'll go with the Nodemon. Uh, we'll be needing body parser as well. So yeah, just body parser, I guess. I don't know why it is auto completing. So I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to type here. Yeah, let's ignore it as of now. We'll go with Express and Normon. We'll install body parser later on. And by the way, if you are wondering like from where these suggestions are coming, I am using Fig. So it's a beautiful extension which you can install and it it will give you some sort of autocompletes in the terminal. No, not dry run, come on. So it will take few seconds to install. So yeah, it has installed all these dependencies express and node mode. so let's uh, add one script here start and I will say node mode index.js and in the index file let's import express From Express, we'll create an app. Yeah, 
we will simply listen on home route as of now just to test out the things we will have request comma response and we will simply say response dot send and we will say it's working now we can listen it on any port let's uh, listen it on 3000 and once that's completed i want to console log like working i like to store these things in a separate environment variables but we'll do it later on in the course as of now like it should work uh, let's run that script and pm start okay it's running on port uh, 3000 so let's localhost colon 3000 okay so it's working here and yeah so it's working now in the next uh, video i'll uh, walk you through like how we can initialize prisma and create our first model so see you in the next video